Hi everyone, it's me Shufi. So today I would like to take some time to share with you my experience and learning uh, on using the quiz function on SLS. Uh, so first and foremost, it's up to you the kind of question that you would like to you know, ask your students. So I have a good mix of application, recall, uh, kind of question, okay, and some maybe even creation kind of question. Alright, so uh, you can see here in the for all my questions i try to accompany it with some notes or short video clips extra sh extremely short maybe about uh, 50 seconds at max all right so uh, here you have the calculation for maximum heart rate and then target heart rate zone 70 percent to 90 percent for a 13 year old so my application question could be for a 15 year old things like that all right so at least what this does is the students have something to refer to uh, as they attempt each and every one of the questions. So you can see I've uh, drafted out the different notes and diagrams for students to take reference from as they try to figure out the, response, the correct responses for the different questions. Okay, so three things. First thing first, make sure you put here feedback given after each question under the quiz mode. That's very important. Last time I used to leave the feedback to the end of the quiz submission and that's actually quite bad because the students don't really read it after they finish. They just want to get it over and done with. Okay, second thing. Also equally important is that the teachers, that means us, we need to take some time to help uh, students attain some very simple explanation to the questions in the event they get it wrong. Okay, so how you do that? Uh, under the edit function, when you edit the questions, okay, so you will be able to see here explanation. Okay, so this explanation. Hold on. You know why now it's hanging a little bit. Okay, so this explanation will appear at the end of the student's attempt when they get the question wrong. Alright, so on top of this, the third thing which I find equally useful is that under settings, you can put a number of tries here. So I generally put two. Okay, you can go up to three or even nine if you want, but that's I think overdoing it. So just two. So that, that way the students take some time to really look through the notes that you have prepared. Uh, and then try again to get it wrong once before you get to see the explanation. So hopefully you find these uh, little tips useful. Uh, that's all. Thank you.